Hello and welcome to this massive open online course. The course code is IB6143 and the course title is Molecular Biology Techniques 1. So today I'm going to give you some inside information on this course and how it was developed for delivery to students. So when we set off on the journey of developing this particular course, we asked ourselves what do students really need to know and what is the knowledge which is available in terms of molecular biology techniques one. So let's look at the molecular perspective. When we speak of molecular biology, we consider three basic molecules. The first one is DNA, the second one is RNA, and the third set constitutes proteins. Now in order to understand molecular biology, you need to have a fundamental understanding of DNA, RNA and proteins. Once you understand the fundamentals and the principles, you can move on to manipulating these molecules. Okay, so let's see what we consider with regard to DNA. So when we speak of DNA, we need to know the molecular structure of DNA. The double helix structure, which Watson and Crick discovered and the manner in which DNA is distributed in genomes. For instance, bacteria have a single large chromosome and they may contain smaller chromosomes which are termed as plasmids. In the case of eukaryotes, like which are higher living organisms such as plants and humans, the DNA is arranged on chromosomes. It has its own configuration. We also carry with us mitochondrial DNA, which is maternally inherited. In addition to that, plants carry three sets of DNA. They carry a chromosomal component, a mitochondrial DNA component, as well as a chloroplast DNA component. So DNA is distributed differently in different organisms. And it's very important to understand this perspective when we want to engineer genomes. Looking back at RNA, which is ribonucleic acid, the, so when we look at RNA, we basically understand that RNA has different forms as well. So in viruses, we have single-stranded RNA viruses, we have double-stranded RNA viruses, and we also have negatively and positively stranded RNA viruses. So coming back to RNA, the importance of RNA lies in its ability to be transcribed. Okay. So RNA is transcribed. So any technique pertaining to RNA, the molecule RNA should take into account the process of analyzing RNA transcripts. So this forms the basis of RNA techniques. So uh, over the duration of the course, we will be focusing on RNA extraction, reverse transcription of RNA as well as the application of RNA in terms of double-stranded RNA applications to, for example, therapeutics. Okay, so we go into applications of RNA. With regard to proteins, which is basically uh, relates to enzyme, for instance, in the biotechnology industry, we have a large collection of enzymes which are used for industrial purposes. So, a student of molecular biology techniques should be aware of the principles of protein expression. So proteins can be basically expressed in bacteria. They can be expressed in yeasts as well. And these proteins, once expressed, need to be purified and processed. For example, certain proteins which are used for pharmaceutical applications have to be designated endotoxin-free and obtain FDA and other approvals. So we'll discuss these briefly over the duration of this course. Okay. So when we look at these three molecules and we speak of engineering them, the next aspect which we have to consider is safety. So the last module of this course focuses on biosafety. Now biosafety and biorisk management are relevant with regard to the biotechnology industry. So we need to establish a framework for biosafety and we need to ensure that biotechnology is practiced responsibly within the context of specific laws. So this basically summarizes your course content. So we will to wrap up 
we'll be focusing on DNA, on RNA, and on proteins. And we will be focusing on the manner in which these molecules can be engineered and developed into biotechnological applications. This is the gist of this course. So thank you very much for watching this introduction. We hope that you will participate in this course and have an enlightening experience. Thank you.